Okay, we focus a lot on the lower body movements that emphasize the quadriceps. That's great, and you know, those are very powerful movements. Uh, definitely, I, I'm sorry, very, very, very powerful muscles are needed in, in sports, and, and you know, there's, you definitely don't want to be the guy that walks into the gym with, you know, an XXXL shirt and, you know, small little uh, pants, little legs. So w you want to focus on the lower body. But within focusing on the lower body, you want to have some balance. So you avoid injuries and you can um, uh, have even more supporting muscle behind all the movements. The focus here is going to be on a muscle that doesn't get the attention it should, a group of muscles, the hamstrings. Now, the interesting thing about the hamstrings, and I said this earlier, is that the hamstrings actually cross the knee joint and insert in the lower leg. That is a great asset because by strengthening the hamstrings, we're actually supporting the knee, giving it a lot more stability. So we're going to focus on this, uh, these muscles, the hamstrings, by doing a leg curl. Now, you know, you would think of, well, I have to go to the gym to perform this exercise. No. Actually, the leg curl can, is uh, something you can do at home with just a dumbbell and a bench. We're using a little uh, specialized bench here, but you can use a flat bench that you prop up on one end. And uh, what we need is just for the lower body to be at a slight angle so we can get a little more range of motion out of the movement. So, JJ, can you bring your feet up? So the starting position is perpendicular to the floor. I'm going to put a dumbbell in between his feet. So he's, he's holding it in place by squeezing his feet together. This is going to come into play a little bit uh, later. As he starts to tire, the fact that he is squeezing his feet together are also bringing in some of the muscles of the inner thigh. Remember we talked about those before, the adductors. So they're coming into play as well here in this movement, and you'll see uh, here in a second. Okay, JJ, slowly on the way down, and up. Good. A few more. At the bottom of the movement is when he really needs to squeeze his legs together to keep that dumbbell in between his legs. Now he's only using here a 10 pound dumbbell and I, I can see already how his legs or his hamstrings and adductors are starting to tire because that dumbbell is making its way through um, his feet. So okay, that's good. So a gr this is a great exercise. This is only 10 pounds and already he's having to, he's fatiguing a little bit. Uh, so JJ is an athlete, he plays baseball. So if this is difficult with a 10 pounder for him, you can go really far with this by just using a little bit of weight, strengthening these muscles from an angle which you can't get with machines by using a simple bench and a dumbbell. This is the prone leg curl using a dumbbell. 